Welcome to the Java programming series and today we will understand how to write down the program to find the maximum number out of three numbers. So consider an example if user is entering 40, 10, 20 we have to print the output 40 because it's a biggest number right. Consider the another example let's say user is entering 100, 50 and 99 then we have to print the 100 because it's a maximum number perfect. So before we jump into the program, let's try to understand the definition and let's try to find out what are the inputs required in this program. So definitely we need to take these three numbers as an input, right? So let me just take these three numbers. Let's say integer a is equal to 40, b is equal to 10 and c is equal to 20. Perfect. So we have identified the input. Let's try to identify the output required in this program. So we know that we have to print the maximum number, right? So either we have to print A if A is maximum or we need to print B if B is maximum or we need to print C if C is maximum. So still I don't know how to solve this program but I have just written the input required in this program and I have to written the output required in this program. So let's try to find out the logic for this program. So forget about Java. If I'll give you these three numbers and if I'll tell you which number is biggest number. So what will be your answer? So definitely 40 is the biggest number, right? So now let's analyze the thought process. How you got the answer 40? How you can tell 40 is the biggest number, right? So what you did, you compared this number with the second number and third number, right? And you got that the first number is the biggest number from second number and the third number, right? So you can say 40 is the biggest number out of three numbers, right? So we are comparing and we are checking some conditions, right? So we know that whenever we have to check the condition in Java, we have to use the if statement, right? So let me just write down the if condition. So I'll just write down if some condition I will write. So still, I don't know which condition I will write. I'll just write if this condition is true, I'll print a. If this condition is not true, then I'll just write down else if some other condition is true, then I'll just print B and else I'll just print C because I don't need the condition. If we know that if A is not greater, if B is not greater, then definitely C will be greater, right? So we don't require any condition for the C, right? We just have to identify now two condition. So what is the condition where we can say A is greater? right a is the biggest number so we can just write down the condition if a is greater than b as well as a is greater than c okay if a is greater than b and if a is greater than c then we can say a is the biggest number right so we need to write down the end condition if a is greater than b as well as a is greater than c right if both the conditions are true then we can say a is the biggest number. If this condition is false, then definitely we are sure that a is not a biggest number, right? If this condition is false, we are sure that a is not a biggest number. So after that, we just left with the b and c, right? So we just have to check the condition. If b is greater than c, then definitely it will print b. Otherwise it will print c. Perfect. So let's try to see how this program will get executed okay so first of all we have a a is equal to 40 right so it will check 40 is greater than 10 yes and 40 is greater than 20 yes it will print 40 as a output perfect so let me just try to run this program so it should print the 40 as output excellent so now let's try to run this program with the 120 as a maximum value right so how this program will get executed so first of all, it will check A is greater than B. Yes, this condition is true, right? And it will check A is greater than C. No, this condition is false, right? And we have an end condition. So finally, the output will be false. Okay, so it will again check B, which is 10 greater than C. So 10 greater than 120. No, this condition is also false. So it will print the value C, which is the 120, right? So run this program and you will able to see that it's a 120 perfect so we just sold the program to print maximum number out of three numbers and we are using the boolean operator here because we want to combine the two condition using the end operator 
so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments regarding this video try to write down into the comment section thanks everyone and we'll see you into the next video